weekend? That was terrific. How was yours? It was great. All right. All right. Should we talk health news right now? Let's do it. Dr. Sutton Aparik joins us now with more. Uh, what's uh, topping the health agenda this morning? We're talking about HIV and AIDS. Yes. Oh. We always talk about, you know, how you have to have early treatment to make a difference. But first, you have to know if you even have HIV. Most people have still never been tested. Check this out. It's an unusual but effective place to get an HIV test. Hi, I'm Dr. Austin. Welcome. Recording artist Charlie Ward is getting ready to have his teeth cleaned by Manhattan dentist Dr. Catrice Austin. But first, he's about to get an HIV test. If I can also get an HIV screening while I'm here. I mean, that's fantastic. Dr. Austin offers the rapid HIV test to all of her patients. We need to really get more health care providers involved with testing so that we can really stop the spread of this disease and get more people to care. The test involves a quick swab under the top and bottom lip. Perfect, and that's it. After you swab, Dr. Austin starts the cleaning and you get your results at the end. The test takes about 20 minutes to complete and no matter how many times you've been tested, no matter how safe you've been, this part is always a little bit dirty. The rapid HIV test works by looking for antibodies to the HIV virus in your saliva. New York is one of many states that still requires you to sign a consent form before testing. Dr. Austin says she took a one-day course offered by the city health department to learn how to give the test and counsel patients. Some patients, they say no. Usually the married couples will de decline the test. And unfortunately, it's sad because just because you're married, it doesn't mean that you will not get this disease. Since she began screening in July of last year, one person has tested positive for HIV. The patient has gone on to get a confirmatory test and is under treatment now. Charlie learns his test is negative. I'm thrilled, but uh, yeah, I'm probably going to still have a blood test when I have my physical, but uh, you know, this is a great way to kind of check in between, so I'm thrilled. And if the test is positive, you still need to get a blood test to confirm. If it's negative and you've been involved in risky behavior, you need to get tested again after three months. So it's not a perfect test, but the blood test, which is more accurate, just takes longer to get the results. If people don't want to get it, people don't want to come back. It's a scary thing. Yeah. I remember when I gave birth to my kids, they tested me for AIDS, and they tested my kids, you know, when they, they, they were born. And, I, you know, even though I wasn't concerned, it still makes you nervous. still makes you think about yeah. it. I, you can also just add it on to your blood work, you know, whenever you get your yearly physical. That's what I do, but, you know, a lot of doctors still don't offer it. They don't want to talk about yearly it. Yearly physical, is that what you recommend, once a year? Yes, which I'm sure you haven't been to the dent. You haven't been to the dentist, right? In years, in four years. I forgot about that. I, I do my own dental work at home. Oh my nice. goodness! Okay. <laughs> Just, no, I, I haven't been in a long time. It's time. Yeah, it's, it's time. time. I think we should take him, Doctor Sutton. I know. I've said recommended people. No, I give you up. have to take him by the hand, I, I think, care. or by the we'll ear. Story. <laughs> All right, good day, New York.